Welcome back guys. So, when I started out with Soft Robotics, one of the biggest issues I faced was finding a good way to connect the tubing that goes to my air source to the silicone Soft Robot itself. This seems like a simple issue, but it can actually be difficult, especially for beginners. Today, I wanna to share my solution, or as I call them, Soft Robotic Adapters. Basically, the adapter is a flange that you can cast in the same material as your soft robot, attach to the robot, connect the tubing, and start inflating. Now, I could just walk you through the steps of how to design these in some software, but instead I took the time to make a customizer script on the Thingiverse page where you can easily adjust all the parameters necessary to make an adapter for a soft robot. Let's go over the different parameters. There are two parts of the adapter, the sleeve and the flange. This is helpful when changing the parameters. The flange height parameter affects the thickness of the flange. I recommend keeping this value around 10 millimeters. The flange radius parameter affects, well, the radius of the flange. This value should correspond with the part of the soft robot you're connecting it to. For example, if I'm attaching it to a soft robot with a bottom diameter of 30 millimeters, then I should make the value 15 millimeters. The sleeve height parameter affects the length of the sleeve. I recommend keeping this value around 10 millimeters. Finally, the tubing size parameter should be filled with the outer diameter of the tubing that you're using. Keep in mind, outer diameter. Also, make sure that you change this measurement to millimeters as tube size is often in inches. Once you've filled out all the parameters in Customizer, you can print it out. Next step is to cast it. Cast it with the same material as the soft robot is made of. I use Ecoflex 0030 for my robots, so that's what I use for the adapter. Once it has cured, mix up a small bit of some more silicone. Spread this on top of the adapter and place the soft robot on top of that, making sure that the silicone seals up the opening. Once that too has cured, pull the now fused soft robot and adapter out of the mold. Poke a screwdriver through to clear any blockages, then insert the tubing through the sleeve and into the soft robot. Take a zip tie and lock it over the tube and the sleeve. Then you're done. Now, obviously this customized mold is not applicable for all soft robots, but at least this general concept is. Anyways, if you want to incorporate this into a soft robot, check out the Thingiverse page in the description. There I have the customizer script along with the written instructions. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, then you know what to do. If you want to follow my work, then hit that subscribe button. XYZ Aiden, out.